What up, good people? It's the SMT. Hey, we got something going on. Look at that. 5G ultra wideband. Verizon just enabled it on the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. So now those phones are picking it up. You'll see 5G NR 3700. That's the 3.7 gigahertz N77 on Verizon. So I'm testing a site that's right off the freeway just turned on. I want to give you guys a view of what we have in terms of gear. Again, sorry, I got to use a Galaxy or a Pixel if I'm going to get better footage from this distance. Uh, so I'll do that in the future, but you will see that it is there. I'd say the site's probably a, almost a mile away, all right? Right there off the freeway. Just as a baseline, we've got the iPhone. All right, this is the 13 Pro, and we're going to compare it to the first speed test on the Pixel 6 Pro. All right, so 47 ping. The jitter's at 55 milliseconds. And for downlink, looks like we're at about four... Oh, wow. 430 megabits per second on the downlink. All right, so RSRP-wise, 84. That's a good signal. That's pretty good for almost a while away. That's that's pretty solid, all right? I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty daggone good, all right? 431 down 60 on the uplink. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and do some testing here on the Pixel 6 Pro. All right, so I went ahead and I split the screen. So we've got the app running showing you that it's connected. Okay, uh, I have no idea what just happened, but the network just, what in the world? I think we may have found a bug. Let me go ahead and, uh, let me airplane mode this and see if there's something happening there. All right, that's weird. I mean, <laughs> maybe they haven't worked out all the kinks and the bugs. All right, let's see. All right, so we're back. Okay, we're back. Let's test it. It is showing the NR. Oh, and now it's showing what it's aggregating with. All right, cool. So it's doing it with 750. That is the uh, band 13. There you guys got it. Band 13, 10 megahertz, and then the 60 megahertz of N77. That's the C-band stuff right there, buddy. All right, speed test. 440 on the downlink and about 44 in the uplink. 28 millisecond ping and two millisecond jitter. All right, so the uplink a little bit better on the iPhone. Maybe it's adding an extra carrier of uplink, possibly, uh, but the downlink just about the same. The pixel a little bit better. Uh, I'll run a, another test here. The RSRP holding steady. Sinar is a little low. We like to see that number closer to 20. RSRQ is fine. I don't really see an issue there. I'm surprised it's only aggregating with the low band. You'd think it would aggregate with the PCS or the AWS where there's more spectrum. The AWS channel here is like band 66, 20 megahertz. So that would actually make more sense because then it would be like 80 megahertz of total spectrum instead of 70. But that's still pretty good. 400 by 48. It's just the iPhone again. Just for the sake of consistency. See if we're seeing the same things there. Interestingly, the ping time is very, very different. The pixels in the 25 millisecond range and the iPhone's in the 50 millisecond range. All right, look at the iPhone go, though, with the downlink speed. 500, we just cracked it. All right, 500 on the downlink. 4.4 millisecond ping. Uh, jitter. Not seeing any loss. That's good. All right, so 501 down and... 38 on the up. Interesting. Test the pixel one last time here before we wrap up this video. There we go. 23 millisecond ping. 6 millisecond jitter. It's a pretty good site. It's doing well. 474 on the downlink. All right, very, very similar to the iPhone. I think we have ourselves a good update, ladies and gents. I think we have us a good fix. A lot of the cellular troubles we've been seeing with Verizon and the Pixel 6 Pro, looks like things may have been sorted out and fixed with those updates. Yep, the, the update just came in. I just installed it yesterday, so I wanted to do some testing after work. 474 down, 52 up. What do you guys think of the Pixel? Competitive with the iPhone? Good enough? You guys excited about this? I know I am. I love my Pixels. All right, so there you guys have it.
Thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You guys are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications. Uh, like and share this video. That's the site we were testing. And uh, Patreon page link in the description box. Let's test them both at the same time. Email, Twitter handle, they're in the description box as well. Support us there. Help us out. Appreciate it very much. Guys and gals, you have a great rest of the day. Oh, and by the way, before we let out, this is the 2017 Verizon Unlimited plan, and this is the OG grandfathered Unlimited data plan. All right, that's the 2005 version. All right, so there's your priority differences right there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.